with Genesis chapter 39 uh, in the King James Version. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian." And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer of his house, and all that he had he put into his hand. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he, that he had in the house and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hands, and he knew not aught he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused, and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wotteth not what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I, neither hath he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business, and there was none of the men of the house there within. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. And it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, that she called unto the men of her house and spake unto them, saying, See, he hath brought in and he Hebrew unto his and to us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it came to pass, when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled, and got him out. And she laid up his garment by her until his Lord came home. And she spake unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou hast brought unto us came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass, as I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled out. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which he spake unto her, saying, uh, unto him, saying, After this manner did they did thy servant to me that his wrath was kindled. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison, and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison prison looked not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with him, and that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Amen. Okay, so here's all kinds of things happening to Joseph. Again, Joseph's starting to grow older. He was sold into Potiphar's house, who was under the Pharaoh, and as a servant, and he was working very hard, doing things that he was told to do, and prospering at them, though. And because why? The Lord was with him. Listen to this, because this is important. This is what we need to take into consideration for our lives bringing past to present. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him, uh, 39.5, 
uh, and it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house and over that all that he had that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Wow. Wow. When we seek the Lord, when we live in the spirit and we have a journey with the Lord in our life, the blessings will just rain down. And we, the blessings will rain down on us and others will benefit from those blessings. Others will be able to also feel those blessings raining down. That's what it's all about. When we seek the Lord and his guidance, when we follow the Lord, we are blessed. And those blessings rain, shower out as well. In, in all, all the circumstances, one thing that came up to my mind just now was in a family where, and, and again, uh, I'll go, there's another point there, but in a family, you are struggling. You, you're struggling. You're doing what you believe is correct in life. You are following the Lord and his guidance continue to wait on him, continue to be patient, and also listen. Because sometimes we're, we're waiting, but he's already on the move, or he's already moved, and we're waiting for no reason. We got to move forward. We got to hear and listen to him. Take faith and know that the Lord is with us, and the Lord will protect us, and the Lord will shower his blessings on us. And when, he, when it does, it'll rain down, and the whole house will feel it. The whole family will feel it, will feel the Lord's love, the blessings that are there. When they do, also remember to take note. Yes, times are good. Yes, your children have what they always wanted or desired what they think they always wanted or desired or everything's really good right the times are excellent everything that you see before you is wonderful take note and give praises to where praises are due our lord and savior and also be an example praise the lord and when and show that we too that everyone can praise the lord including your children including your loved one your significant other Everyone can praise and bless the Lord and know where those blessings come from. So that is the point. Understanding the Lord's guidance, understanding that those blessings won't just bless us, but will bless all of the people around us in our life as well. Think about that. Think about how something so impactful ripples out ripples out in love and surrounds us with the many blessings of our Lord and Savior. I think of like a drop, a droplet of blessing and it just rippling out and it creating that giant circle of love and blessing. And it just, and it bounces off. And what does it do when it bounces off? It comes back. It comes back. It's, it's a circle. It comes back, goes back and forth. Think about that in your life. And take that as an example. Before we go on, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 